Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin, and joining me is Christian Mathot, Principal Lighting Designer with Design One Lighting Design. Thank you for joining us, Christian. Thank you, Fred. Appreciate it. Well, you're doing some interesting things with lighting, which is so important today for so many people who are working from home and living their lives on Zoom, whether it's for work, for school, uh, other, other uses professionally. So tell us what the problem that you're solving here is. Sure, absolutely. Um, it started actually as a, a problem that needed to be solved for my wife. Um, she had been a personal trainer, uh, meeting people in person, um, and with COVID-19, that was no longer possible. So she transitions she, all her clients uh, to Zoom uh, and uh, set up her office in our uh, in our living uh, in our bedroom, actually. Uh, and after two or three days of uh, frustrated clients who couldn't see her very well uh, in our Manhattan apartment that doesn't get a lot of sunlight. Um, she turned to me as a lighting designer and her husband and said she needed a solution. Uh, so with the expertise of, uh, of 30 years of uh, lighting people uh, for in live events, uh, as well as uh, lighting architectural projects uh, all over the world, um, I came up with, uh, with uh, version one, uh, which she still uses. Uh, it's no longer what we use, but it was the, it was the sort of the, the first uh, bit of research that proved that this was going to work uh, and then went about uh, actually getting our own uh, product created, uh, patented, trademarked, uh, and uh, it's been almost a year and uh, 250 orders later. So it's been, uh, it's been actually kind of a great success. And this is called the camera ready system? That's right. Uh, camera ready system. lighting, uh, light bars uh, made specifically for lighting your face uh, to be uh, viewed clearly online when you're communicating in any fashion, uh, whether it be professional or personal. Uh, and the idea is to make you look great and to make you uh, be seen and be heard because the clearer you're seen, the clearer you're heard. Well, Describe even even more for us what the what the problems that we've seen online are sure. when it comes to lighting. So often people have a maybe a window behind them sure. or or aren't paying attention whatsoever to what the lighting looks like. I think mostly people are not paying attention uh, unless unless you know it's brought to their attention that they just can't be seen. Uh, people don't understand the importance, and often people use it as a way to uh, should I say you know. Uh, you know, casually uh, be in the background. If it's a large group of people, you know, one of the things I find that I'm on a lot are six and eight and 10 person conference calls. Um, and a lot of times people uh, use the excuse of darkness uh, that, you know, uh, or even turn off their cameras, which I found really kind of amazing, right? Here we are trying to collaborate and, and communicate and people are uh, so ashamed of how they look online that they're turning off their cameras. So this is, this is meant to, pardon the pun, bring you out of the shadows, um, and also give you some guidance. Part of what we're doing when we send you the kits is uh, there's a video that shows you how to set it up properly. It's meant to be super, super simple. You don't need the 30 years of lighting experience that I have. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing that with you, uh, and we're trying to make this a very simple, uh, very, very straightforward system to use. Um, the color of light uh, in these lighting fixtures is such that it's flattering to everybody. Um, there's only one color choice. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, the dimming level on all uh, one, two, or three of the light bars that you have in your system um, so that you can really dial it into your situation. And your situation may change. You may bring these to the office because they're totally portable and need to set them up in a very specific way at the office. Um, if you happen to be going back to the office, some people have been. Um, and you may set it up uh, in a hotel room and you may set it up back in your home. And the, you may find that each one of those situations takes a very different, uh, you know, where the lights are positioned and how bright they are would be very different. And so there, this is meant to make that very simple and uh, bring some knowledge uh, to everyone on how to light themselves. Uh, and certainly what you mentioned, you know, strong overhead lights in someone's room causing way too much shadow on their face, 
uh, strong windows behind them that may be great for them for a work environment doesn't necessarily bring them out um, on video. Uh, you know, and these are these are meant to be affordable and extremely easy to help people. Uh, you know, have a better presence online. So what we see on online quite a bit are advertised are, are the ring lights, you know, sure. that your phone can go in the middle yep. of or whatever. Yep. Uh, how is this in a, a big step up from that? I think there's a couple of things. Uh, the ring lights tend to be a very unflattering LED source. Uh, it's very inexpensive. Uh, you know, they're mass producing these things. Uh, and um, so therefore you probably are being given a, a very blue white as opposed to the warm white that we're, uh, that we're using. Um, and also the, the fact that they're a ring means that they're taking up quite a bit of space on your desk. Uh, ours are, are vertical bars that set up to the left and right of your screen and basically, you know, really kind of blend in with your setup. You can go about your every day. I, mine are on my desk every day. They're on now, uh, you know, and when I'm done with a call, I just hit the switch. It's a single switch to turn them both off. Um, you know, uh, the dimming capabilities on those rings are rough, if any. Um, they Tend, and they tend to be used for a single ring meant to be sort of used right in front of your face, which uh, is, to my, to my opinion, not a wonderfully flattering um, angle. Uh, you know, we want a little bit of modeling. We want a little bit of human uh, curves. And, you know, we don't want to seem like robots on, on, the, on the camera. We want to look human, but we want to look healthy. And uh, the ring lights are just not a, great, uh, not a great solution. Although they will illuminate you, I'm not convinced that they make you look great. Plus, there's the issue sometimes of, of the glare in your eyes if you're trying to read for something. Sure. Right? For sure. Uh, and these, you know, you can see in my in my glasses, my two bars, uh, but I've set them so low on inten in intensity and they're still extremely uh, useful at these low levels. And they're very easy to look at. I have no problem. You know, it doesn't cr doesn't cause me on uh, discomfort. I don't know if it's going to cause a shadow. Can you show us what one looks like? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there's a, there's basically a, a tripod and a light bar. The light bar is can be turned on and off uh, at the bar itself and can be uh, can be dimmed uh, at the bar. And each bar has a separate dimmer. So you, like I said, you can really really dial in uh, dial in the whole system. And the way you're holding it to the tripod is pretty cool too. Yeah, so uh, the tripod actually has a, a, a magnetic uh, a magnetic closure, and so literally you just you just click it and uh, and it and it stays. Um, again, trying to make this super 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 simple. And it allows you to either have it vertical or horizontal or sort of anything right. in between. That's right. That's right. And, and actually one of the choices too is to use it off the tripod and there's little kickstands uh, on the back of the, on the back of the fixture uh, that allow you, that allow you to just set the light uh, up. I've, I found I can set it up between the keyboard and screen of just about any computer, whether it's what, frankly, whether it's an iPad, a laptop or a desktop computer, and then you just get a little bit of light coming up under your chin, under your nose, and that removes the shadows um, caused often by overhead lighting in the room. And although people get uh, you know, concerned about an up light looking ghoulish, uh, because it's dimmable, you can just dial it in just so that it's just filling in those features without making you look, you know, without making you look like a Halloween character. The, the right amounts. So you have these in, in different kits here Correct. Uh, with whatever yeah. you want one two or three lights right that's exactly right T tell us about them the availability and the pricing sure and again i think you've gone over the the features and and yeah. what the what the uh, real value is here sure so uh each kit uh there's three kits it's a single light bar kit a double light bar kit and the deluxe kit uh a single comes with a single light and a single tripod and a power supply uh, that comes in uh, a black zipper case that's form fitted to those fixtures, to those lights, so that there's no bubble wrap. There's nothing, nothing to throw away once you get this package. And now you're able to use this zipper uh, pouch as a transport. Uh, it comes with slots for three, 
for three lights. So you're able to upgrade, uh, you know, if you find that you've ordered a, a single light bar kit and you want to upgrade to two or three more lights, you can do so by ordering uh, just the individual lights on the website. The double light bar kit, as it sounds, comes with uh, two light bars and two tripods, a single power supply, that same power supply uh, powers the two lights. Uh, and then in the deluxe, uh, we add the third light uh, again, which can all be powered off the same power supply with a little four-way block. Um, we didn't bother adding the third tripod because the idea of the deluxe kit is that you have a light to the left, a light to the right vertically uh, at 45, 45 degrees, uh, and then the, the little uh, under chin light would go horizontally uh, in for the deluxe kit. And that's by far the, the best setup. And you can control them, as you mentioned, individually. So that's that right. one in the middle you can have it at a lower level. That's exactly right. So you don't right. get that Halloween effect. That's right. And then with the, uh, there's a switch on the power supply cord. Uh, so you can turn them all off at once and they maintain whatever the uh, dimming level is that you had set when you turn them back on. So that if you find that you use them you know, at, a, you know, at a, a particular level, like I know that I do, um, and I just turn them off and then turn them, when I turn them back on, they've come back to the, the level that I left them at. Tell us about the, the pricing and where people can find them. Oh, sure. Uh, the single light bar kit's $100. The double light bar kit uh, is $200. And the deluxe is $275. Uh, they can be found at camerareadylighting.com. Uh, and in the coming weeks, uh, we'll be on Amazon and on B&H Photo. Really exciting. And uh, I guess what, what we can tell people is you're, you're taking it from a pro here. Because uh, you've, I understand, have been nominated for an Emmy for your lighting work and uh, have all these years of experience. Yeah, absolutely. Um, then again, the idea is that I'm trying to uh, impart the knowledge that I've learned over the years uh, and, and sort of translate it into a product that's meant to be easy to use and make everyone look great and feel great uh, so that everyone can be doing great things. And I suppose one other way they, that the lighting can be adjusted would be the distance that you put these away from. For sure. You. If Absolutely. you wanted to have it uh, less dramatic. You yeah. Can and I think, away. you know, uh, particularly with those of us with glasses, uh, we find that we recommend the further sort of left and right of the screen that you can that you can get it, the less glare you're going to get uh, in the glasses, which is also a big improvement over the ring light because the ring light, like I said, is usually only I've usually only seen it used as a single and you get you get that big ring right in the glasses. Well, once again, the product is the Camera Ready Lights. Uh, and the website, once again, Christian? CameraReadyLighting.com. Terrific. Christian Mathot, thank you for taking the time with us. Fred, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>